if you love Italian style cooking but can't seem to find some great recipes to make yourself, look no further than this new cookbook. It's called Extra Virgin and it was put together by actress Debbie Mazur and musician Gabriel Carcos. And they're both joining us now. Hi to you two. Hello, Hi, good morning, good morning, Amy. How are you? We're doing well here in Dallas. What you got cooking up? And now this new cookbook is fantastic. Thank you so much. Actually, today we're going to teach you how to make tiramisu, which means pick me up. And the only thing you got to cook is coffee. And I assume that the majority of you knows how to make coffee. So. Uh, today we're using Lavazza coffee. We're using the blend Perfecto because mm -hmm. it's nice and rich. And what, what uh, you you're taking your lady fingers and you're dipping them into the coffee, which is room temperature, not hot. Absolutely. Otherwise, mm. your, co your cookie will fall apart. And you don't want to drench them too much because then it's all they will also fall apart. And this is a very easy recipe. You have a, a nice and smooth round flavor of the coffee. The, the sugar from the cream. This is mascarpone cream. Mascarpone is uh, the Italian cream cheese, so to speak. And yes. we uh, doctor it up with some uh, farm fresh eggs and uh, uh, powdered sugar to make it nice and fluffy. So the consistency is very similar to the one that you would have uh, into a heavy whipped yes. whipped cream. You're stealing my cookies. Well, yeah, you're talking <laughs> and not cooking. You 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 you. you talk. I'll keep on being your sous chef. Oh, That's how we roll in the I kitchen. Like, I, I like the sous chef. <laughs> Uh, we're really proud of the cookbook. It's got everything from pastas and stews and desserts. And, you know, this one's very simple. Uh, you want to be careful with kids that, you know, maybe you might want to use decaf. decaf. Yeah, you got chocolate and sugar. So if you use the coffee as well, then, then you're like done. This is, you know, a nice Italian traditional favorite. And, um, you know, easy to bring to a, a party or, oh you my know, gosh, whatever. It's, Good for breakfast. It's already looking <laughs> delicious. I, oh, can, right. I can taste it from here. <laughs> Well, I'm telling you, having breakfast with this, like, uh, you know, you have coffee, then we walk the kids to school, and then I, we come back uh, to the house, and if there's any leftover from the night before, this is a great 9 a.m. Uh, pick-me-up. And then you pick yourself up with coffee and coffee and coffee, and then eventually, mm. if you need to tone yourself down, and then you start drinking some liquor. And this is my limoncello, and the family oh, recipe is in the book as well. Ears. So you can play, you know, give, Give and take, give and take. And uh, you know, the, the, the secret of this uh, uh, book and of our show is that we speak from the heart for family and regular people. So the, all the recipes that you find here are super easy to execute. The ingredients are easy to source. Uh, right. And it's really a book about being together, cooking together, spending yes. time uh, at the dinner table, enjoying good Italian ingredients. Perfect. And also showing people that really having, you know, feeding yourself and your loved ones in a way that is uh, wonderful and natural it's really not that hard or that expensive for that matter that's right yeah you can order uh, our book today on uh, on uh, uh, shoplavazza.com you can get the coffee to go with it very very simple um, Look at this one comes in the mail mm, and obviously you, you can have the the more rustic farmer approach of me that I made it in three minutes uh -huh. or you can go, you know, a little, a little more precise. You can go Swiss on it and just <laughs> use a spatula and flatten it up. Or you can I'm using some uh, hard dark chocolate with a cheese grater to mm, sort of give it that nice sort of rustic three-dimensional thing. Yes. You pop it in the refrigerator about two to three hours. Uh -huh. Boom, ready to go. Oh my God. However, remember if you're, you know, if this sits in the fridge for a couple of hours, mm -hmm. do not put your powdered sugar right away, otherwise right. it will soak in. So okay. just sprinkle your powdered chocolate, you know, before, right before serving you serve. it. Yes. yes. Oh my gosh, mm. it sounds um, delicious. All right, well, mm. there you have it. Y'all yeah. are fantastic. adorable. And I and love... Then, you know, and this is a f full menu. It's, it, and I love that yes, your recipes adorable. are so yes. simple. I love that your recipes are so simple. Thank you both so much. Well, you know... Well, that, Thank You're you so much welcome. for having us, Amy. It was a pleasure. See Have you a soon, great Dallas. afternoon. Don't forget the book. All right, we're gonna we're gonna all go get it. You can find Extra Virgin wherever you buy your favorite cookbooks, and we've got one to give away to you right now. Just be caller number five. It's one 994 1547 to win a copy of Extra Virgin right now. Good luck. And still to come on the broadcast, we're meeting up with another chef who'll be a part of the Fork and Cork event here in Addison this weekend. We'll be right back with that.